This is Nikki and Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. <sighs> Getting comfy in my chair. <laughs> I'm short. I have to take a couple of jumps to get into it. So, uh, it is time for my end of the month haul of coloring supplies and coloring books. And I have to tell you, I started off this month thinking I was only going to be getting a few things. And then, well, everything was on sale and I couldn't help it. It was stuff on my wish list, stuff I not only wanted, but I needed. And that's how it all began. So let's get into it. As you can see by the tin on the front here, I, like everybody else who has the Black Widows, purchased the new 48 Monarch pencils that now completes the set and makes it a set of, is it 144? So, of course, I needed a new, I needed a new pencil case to move the set over in because I only, my previous Black Widows were 96, I believe they were, only just fit into the case that they were in. There wasn't any room, well there was some room for like say 12, but there wasn't room for the 48. So I got this new case. Now I have two cases like this now. and. The very first one of these cases I didn't like, but now that I've been using it, it's got my Prismacolors in it, I decided to get another one like this because I actually like them now. It just had to grow on me. So this is a really pretty one. That's one nice thing I like about these cases is that we can at least get the pretty versions. Oh, it is open. So I've got a handle on the side like that. It only has one zipper, which is a bonus. That's a little bit taller than your BTS KY. Quite a bit taller, actually. And then you kind of have a little bit of a stacked effect here, where you can see onto this. There is another row. But, um, yeah, it, I've got my Monarchs in, in here. So they're all put in by color. I'm uh, putting these in color of the uh, artistic color wheel following Jennifer Stay's uh, program. And so now I've got room for Okay, well there's 17 spaces there so I don't think that pencils come in any, I think a 12 set's the only one that's going to fit. So I need to find myself a 12 set of something that will fit in with these ones. Um, I was thinking maybe of metallics, since the Black Widows don't have any metallics. So if you know of a good set of metallics that will fit in 17 spaces, please let me know so I can look it up. And remember, I buy off of Amazon.ca, so make sure it's available over there. Thank you. <laughs> I would appreciate your input on that. So, really happy with this. Love the pencils. Been using them and am happy with this all the way around. So, I'm going to put my tray, my tin out of the way since I don't need that anymore. Then, The next thing I have went on sale and I could not pass it up because it's been on my wish list for a very long time and I knew the price could be could be less than what it has been but it's been a long haul and finally these went down to a price that I could afford. Unfortunately the tin got banged up. Uh, where is it banged? Of course, it doesn't even look banged now. Ah, uh, here we go. This corner right here is bent all down like that, so it won't fit on. 
the case. The case lid won't fit. Well, I guess if you push really hard, it will. <laughs> so, okay, so that's better. I'm, I'm more happy because I don't have a... Now can I open it? That's the thing. All right. Come on, guys. So these are the Prismacolor Premier Water Soluble Pencil Crayons. So you get 36, and this is the entire set. They're very plain looking pencils, and I haven't used them yet. So let's take a blue and take a look at it. So the barrels are, uh, does that have a, I don't know, they all have a line in them. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, can I pick one up? No. <laughs> My God, nails. Hmm. Makes me wonder about this one. Wonder if that's a... No, it doesn't feel like a crack. It just feels like the joining point. Okay, so um, let me get one that doesn't have that on it so it's easier to read. A pretty color. This one's... Okay, so yeah, see, because this has got it here too. Yeah, it's just, the, it's just the joining point. So hopefully these are good quality. Uh, I would expect it. These are made in Mexico, which is unfortunate because usually here in Canada we do not get the, uh, we usually do not get the uh, Mexican ones. We get ones made here in Canada, as far as I know. So this is in Spanish and, and English. Verit Prampton, Copenhagen. No, Verit Falsi. No, it's French and English. This is the first time I've ever seen Mexico on one of my pencils. So Prismacolor watercolor, French. Uh, the number it starts with WC, so you know it's the watercolor. Twenty nine fifty eight. So the numbers do not match the Prismacolors, and this is lilac. So I know that I know that um, Prismacolor's colors, uh, what's the word, complement each other, but they're not the same colors. So I'm very interested in trying these out, anyways, and I don't have a case for them. I don't think. I think I might house them with my Albrecht Durers and. I have a 60 set of Albrecht Durer's and I was thinking of getting the missing ones by open stock. But now that I have this, which is 36, the 60 uh, Albrecht Durer's and the 36 Prismacolor water solubles should hopefully go together well. So looking forward to working with those. Now, it was the month of pencils. <laughs> ah, so, the next pencils I got were the Black Edition. I just had to get these. Like, there was just, it, it, first of all, they're black, okay? So, like, that's what happened to me with the Black Widows, is that, well, they're black, so I'm going to try them. And just look at how bright, vibrant the tips are on here. I had to get these so I ordered them and I swatched them and I put them in a pencil case so this is empty so they have a nice home in here this is a case that I already had started and I've got my tags that I told you about before so I've got a tag on on here for each brand of pencils that's in here. So we open up with the 36 Faber-Castell Blacks. They do not have names or numbers on them. 
So I arranged them in the order that I like, uh, following the color wheel, and then I numbered them myself and swatched them according to number. What was really cool is that this front part of my pencil case holds 36 exactly. So let's just see the rest of the case since we're here. So here's my favorite Castell uh, gold favors. And they don't quite fit on those two rows. There's a little, uh, a few over here. And then at the end, this was where I was keeping my uh, Jane Davenport uh, magic wands. I believe they are called. So they are very bright and vibrant colors. So they're very, they're very waxy and, uh, you know, they're for, they're for crafters. They're not for pencil artists, but they're very usable. You can see uh, I'm starting to get low on these. I, I have a good time using them. So this case is arranged perfectly. I love how it's set up, but I had all this space right here, so I needed to fill it up. So I bought a 12-pack of some pencils that I'd been interested in. I know it may sound silly. I don't know. Do you do this? But I couldn't stand having that wasted space. It needed to have pencils in it. So <laughs> I bought a 12-set of the uh, Tombow Recycled Color Pencils. Now, these are not the Erogitans. These are um, student grade, I believe. The wood is recycled. I don't imagine that the pigment is recycled, but the wood is. And I have not done anything with these yet. They still need to be swatched. And I did do a little scribble with one, but not enough to give me. Come on, why can't I open things when I have nails? There we go. So, these are wood as well, and if we look at them, it's got the barcode up here, which we're, which we're sharpening off, and then down here, we have the number, and they all start with a K. Oh, no, it's not. So, it must be the code for these, oh, 1605, 1511. Hmm, some of them say 1511, some say 1805. Okay, so I have no idea what that is. Ah, here we go. This will be the number. This is number 22. These do come in a 24 set. And then the color name is in Japanese. But it does help you know what color it is because it has a little... Um, I wouldn't call that a cap because the ends are open and this pencil is perfectly centered and also this little bit right here where it probably is telling you what the color name is is in the color too so this is a pink but uh, if I'm not sure the color names are written inside of the front cover in English so if I find this one Yeah, there it is. It's pink. So I just looked for this and it was there. It says pink. Now the colors aren't anything fancy. There's blue, purple, red, pink, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, light blue, light orange, black, and brown. So yeah, looking forward. I've always wondered what these were like and they will fit in here nicely leaving a space I think I'll have three leftover spaces, so I'll probably leave, what, two at this end and one at this end. That is not a new case, by the way. Okay, then this last thing that I have for you right here is a last minute end of the month buy. I bought it this weekend. Today is um, Wednesday and I bought it on Friday and it arrived on Saturday. So I've only had this a few days and I had to buy it because the price was ridiculous. 
Um, this is the set of 120 Castle Art pencils. It comes in its own case. Now, here in Canada, these aren't budget-friendly uh, pencils. They're more of what we call, I would say, is called the low-medium range. So they're at the low end of the medium prices. And the normal cost for them is $120. Well, basically a dollar a pencil, which is the exact same price of the Artezas here in Canada too. $120 for the 120 pencils. So yeah, they've been on my wish list and they're a set I was uh, planning on buying and uh, was willing to pay that price because it never changes. And this weekend, or last weekend, all the 120 sets went down to $49.99. This included the case, which I usually pay $30 for, well, $27 or $28.99 for my cases, like this, and the other one that I showed you. So if you, count, if you counted that in to the price, this was a steal, and I could not pass up on it. So I've not done anything with it. The, except open it up and have a look. It has one zipper. Now the case isn't anything to write home about, but it's not the worst thing either. It's serviceable, and I think it should hold up. So it's black um, canvas. It's got a little bit of padding, padding here. Um, no, trust me. There we go. Getting dirty already. So there's the Castle Arts, and they are already put in here, so I'm going to have to go through and make sure I like this order, but it seems to be, because it does yellow, yellow-orange, orange, orange-red, red, red-purple, red, purple yeah okay so this is this is follows the, the color wheel so it has like these two which are close together and then you have an open space and you can actually put something in here because it's a bit of a a bit of a, a drop there then you've got these two which lay flat and then you've got uh, another one like the front. There is an elastic band there, but I would only put one thing in it. There's not that much room. And so the front and the back pencils are attached to the covers. And you know, it's uh, well put together. I don't see there being any problems with this. I'll have to get used to the style, but uh, yeah, I'm not going out and buying another pencil case just because this one's different. It was well worth it for the price. So, um, I'm going to have to go through these, make sure they're in the right order. They look to be. Um, uh, swatch them. And then I can get set out to working with them and see how they are. Uh, they have been compared to the Artezas, and I myself was deciding between the two when I ended up choosing the Artezas. But now I have them both. And I can't believe that I got 120 set of pencils for $49.99 plus the case for them. That is a deal you don't see too often here on Amazon Canada. So yeah, those were not planned. Okay, so now we get to some uh, bits and bobs of supplies that I bought. Just let me get them all a little bit closer. Okay, so um, I got myself some glossy accents. I've been wanting this for a real long time, and so I decided to purchase some supplies of stuff that I've that I 
feel I need to enhance my pictures and that I've wanted for a long time. None of this is frivolous stuff, so I got uh, glossy accents. And then I got some of the Satin Glazing uh, Liquid by Golden. And <laughs> believe me, I have so many mediums that it was uh, unreal that I didn't already have this one. The closest thing I had to it was um, uh, well, it was gel medium, but... Uh, shiny it's not called shiny gloss that's it gloss gel medium which may have worked like this but we'll see this is much more of a liquid so it should go further and not be used up as quickly so looking forward to trying that out after i've seen some wonders that people can do with it and then from my you might have heard of in my in my vlogs, I had two very unsuccessful visits to Michael's. So the one time I went to Michael's, I got a white uh, bullet tip 1.5 Faber-Castell pit pen because I wanted to see if it worked covering up black lines. Um, and so anyways, I had, uh, I had enough money in my pocket to get two. So I just ended up buying a magenta brush pen because I've never really used these before, the brush pens. And this one's not a brush pen. So that was all I could find at Michael's one day. Then the next day I went to Michael's to buy some Prisma, uh, not refills, but uh, pen I had a list of pencils that I needed to rebuy. So I had them before they ran out. And I looked through all the colors I wanted, which included black, white, and a blender pencil. And they had none of them, except for I ended up coming home with dark green and blush pink. Yeah, and you see these don't say Mexico on them anywhere. I don't like that. I don't want Mexico pencils. <laughs> we don't get anything made in Mexico here in Canada. Okay, so then I went online and ordered some things I needed. So I got some pom-poms to use for uh, blending my Mungyo pastels. I have a little clip thing that uh, it's actually, it looks very much like a roach clip. And uh, you clip it onto there, and onto the pom-pom, and you can spread your... Uh, pastels around. Works really good. These are a little smaller than I had thought they were, so I'm going to... They're not too small to use, though. They'll be perfectly fine for the uh, getting up close to the edge and uh, into the little itty bits, but I am placing another order which will include the next size up of these. Then I decided to try some of the Winsor & Newton white ink to see how I felt about that and covering up white, uh, covering up black lines. I have a lot of um, white supplies that I use for covering up black lines. All of them have their benefits and their cons. So I'm always open to trying something new, and uh, this seems to be the thing going around these days. Then uh, I wanted some glaze pens, but I didn't see the point in buying a pack of colors because I didn't really need colors. What I really wanted was black, so I got a two-pack of black glazes, and then I thought, well, if I wanted to do colors, then I should just get the clear glaze, which is what I did here, so that uh, I can go over any color, and uh, white even. So I, I, I intend to use these for like um, shoes and noses and uh, just little bitty things here and there that should have a bit of a 3D effect to them, jewelry and that kind of stuff. And these ones will go over 
um, mostly like over watches and uh, small clocks and uh, eyes and we'll see what I can come up with I've never I've never even used glazes before then this has been on my list for uh, a minute or two so I decided it was time to give it a try and this is Folk Arts Extreme Glitter Acrylic Paint. Now I like the idea of this much, much more than the uh, Mod Podge Extreme Glitter because, so this is what it looks like. The Mod Podge Extreme Glitter doesn't appeal to me because I don't want to coat my pages in glue. And that's what Mod Podge is. No, no matter what they put in it, it's still glue. And I live in a humid uh, environment, and it gets very humid at times. And um, using Mod Podge, I found out in when in my uh, earlier earlier days of doing mixed media and art journaling and such, I found that uh, Mod Podge very quickly made your pages stick together because of the humidity. So I don't want glue on my pages. This is paint, so we're going to go with that. Now, uh, one last thing before we go on to the books. And my sister sent me a few little things, which we're going to see in the books when we get to them. But one of the things was a pencil case full of some uh, student grade pencils. So there's a lot of Crayolas in here, but the things that I'm most excited about in here are, let me see if I can find a nice looking one. That one's not too long. Um, nope. Oh, come on, Nicola, just pick one. Uh, oh, here we go, this one's long. Is the Laurentian pencils. These are what I grew up with and um, I don't know how many are in the set but it used to be in a long plastic set. It didn't fold in half. You just bought it. You just bought it long and every year when we went to get school supplies I would always get a brand new set of of Laurentians because I just loved these things. One of my favorite things to do at school was to color in maps with my Laurentians. So I'm really happy for those and I'm going to go through this and um, just see what there is. There's Crayolas. There's, uh, what's this? Oh, that's a Crayola. Um, Elmer's, Prang, you know, just the, um, the, the children's grade, actually. But it's good to have a, uh, some of that stuff when you want to do some uh, just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, I, I think everybody likes to have a little stock of that kind of stuff. And then, as if that wasn't enough, I'm cleaning out our front room, which is an enclosed uh, porch that's part of the house but it's not heated so it's cold out there we call it the front room my son likes to call it the cold room and I'm getting we've used it for a storage place so I've been getting everything out of there and sending it off to um, surf stores or uh, recycling it if it's if, if it's uh, not usable and I'm trashing a few things here and there but I found this which just blew my mind First of all, this is an unopened set of uh, dollar store uh, colored pencils, so we'll see what those are like. But in here, and this is really awesome because this has um, three generations of pencils in here. Because when my 30-year-old started uh, schooling and needed pencil crayons, I had some of my leftover Laurentians. Not a lot, but a few. So um, I gave them to him, plus I went out and bought him a new set of Laurentians because they still sold them back then. So 
when he was done school, this was a combination of what was left over of mine and his school pencils. So now it was time for my 20-year-old to need pencil crayons. So I gave him this box and went out and bought him Crayolas because those are the ones that were most often used and I think that's pretty much the only one in here. Yeah, and there's some pretty old Crayolas too, so I think some of these might be the first. Some of them say Crayola Presents on them. But anyways, um, yeah, so then he finished he finished school and I've just kept the remainder. I threw out all the little itty bitty stubs and pencils that had been chewed on because that was one of my bad habits and uh, you know pencils that had been misused shall we say. So yeah I'm gonna have fun looking through here and seeing if there's anything I can if there's anything that I can take and um, when I've been through these two, the leftovers, they will just go to the thrift store. And that's the end of supplies. So, the next category we're going to get into, and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to just reach over here to put these closer to me. that's there that's not a new one anyway, hopefully I don't have <laughs> hopefully I don't have some mix-ups here okay so I'll show you the books I got it's a bit of a hodgepodge but I'd say the majority of the books are either um, creepy or cute Halloween or autumn but there's other things as well so of course, I've been watching Deborah Muller and her new uh, Halloween books that she puts out at this time of year. Not specifically Halloween, but just odd or um, goth, I guess is what you could say. So this goes along uh, the category of what I would call odd. And um, I will be doing full flips of all these books, so... If, if you see one that you would like to have the flip of sooner rather than later, just uh, leave me a message that uh, you'd like to see it, and I'll bring it up to the top of the pile. So, Space Girls and Aliens by Deborah Muller. And then her other goth Halloween-y one she came out with was Graveyard Queens. And I'm really looking forward to working in this one. This is, she has a set of books that are just um, busts of women and uh, yeah, you color their faces and their hair and that's what the book's all about. So these are some very creepy girls you'll find in the graveyard and uh, yeah, she has other books. She's got fairy hair and she's got mermaid hair. And then uh, she's got, what, crowned, crowned queens or something like that. So, yeah, she's got a whole series of, of books like this. Okay, then the other thing that I got uh, kind of into this month. I'm just seeing if I can find the first one. But, no, it doesn't look like the first one is, is here. Nope. Okay. So, I got into Coloring Book Cafe. I've uh, never really looked at them before, but much less had one of their books. <laughs> this book I was just, I was a little bit peeved with. Because the whole time I had it in, in, in my cart, it had a picture of a scarecrow on the front in two days. Before I bought it, they changed it to a dog, and uh, if you follow me, you know how I feel about dogs, so that was a bad pill to swallow. 
but this is a gorgeous book. It contains um, three full books plus some pictures pulled from some of the other ones like um, Country Christmas. But it does include uh, country landscapes, country cottages, cute farm animals. So that's the three. And then it looks like most of the other ones are just Christmas pictures that have been pulled from various uh, sources for the last 25. And maybe some other pictures too, because I don't think there's 25 Christmas ones in here. But yeah, it's all sorts of stuff. And I just love these. Whoa, that one's complicated. But um, yeah, there's lots of uh, scenery and uh, settings and home pictures. Just a lot of things that make me feel cozy. And um, I'm, I'm getting into this kind of... Um, I'm calling it cozy coloring because it's stuff that just makes me feel cozy. And um, that's the cover page. This is the picture that was on the cover prior to my buying it. So yeah, I'll do a flip of this one. It's 100 pages long though, so I'll have to do that one a little bit quickly. Then, just uh, yesterday, I received this from Belba Family for uh, me to review. So I haven't done anything with this one yet, but as far as I can understand it, it is from their uh, square format books. And these are patterns, and it's called party patterns. So I'm assuming they're going to be patterns that celebrate certain holidays. Okay, so we've got an American one there. Okay, that would celebrate summer. I guess that could too. Here we have fireworks in, um, uh, oh, that place where the Jesus statue is. Obviously Halloween, these last two here. So, um, I've also seen some colored pictures in here that are of Christmas ones. And there are no way to tell what they are. They don't. They don't tell you at the front or the back. Oh, they give you a clue. Oh yeah, they do. Okay, so it says Halloween, New Year, Chinese party, baby born party, cocktail party. Okay, so they do tell you what they are at the beginning. But of course, that doesn't tell you what the picture is going to look like. Then another new release that I got this month is... Um, Alan Roberts Beauty of Horror 4 creature feature. Now I've already taken the dust jacket off of this because I've already done a picture in it. <laughs> so yeah, got right down and dirty with this one. So yeah, it's it's fantastic. It, all the pictures represent old horror movies and I'm sure everybody knows what that one is. So there's lots of flips of this up already, but I'll be doing one for my channel. Now the next one was a gift, and I have to say that it has left me very puzzled because it came to me as a gift from Amazon, but there was no name. There was nothing to tell me who it was from. Nothing whatsoever. So. It's hard for me to deal with mysteries, but I'm starting to get used to it. But hey, if it was you who sent this to me, please let me know so I can thank you properly. And if you don't want to, if you like um, being anonymous, then I respect that. And let me thank you here um, profusely. I this, this was on my wish list, and it's her newest book, and I really wanted this. And uh, I really appreciate you sending it to me. We'll be taking a look at this on a one time for a color and chat. Okay, this next book I am so glad I got. This has been on my wish list for years and it's listed at like 18 Canadian dollars. 
Yeah, here it says the price is $17.99. Well, the price on Amazon has always been like $18 and some, and some change. But I kept it on my list. And I kept it on my list as the years went by. Nothing ever budged. I figured it was going to go out of print before I ever saw it. And then, in these last couple of weeks, it went down to five bucks. And I could not believe. I could not believe it went down to five bucks. So I jumped on that. I had to have it. And it is a really cool book. It is a uh, Mystery Colors book. You get your palette down there. You get your picture, which you can't tell what it is. You might be able to on the screen. I'm not looking up there. Um, okay, I can see a hummingbird. But I don't try to look in them to see what I can find. It's more fun being surprised. And, um, You know, so anyways, that's that's what it's all like. I did do the first one because I was so... Did I? Sure I did. Yes, I did. I did the first one because I was so excited to finally have this in my hands. And it is a nice quality book. So we'll be flipping through that. Then another coloring book, cafe book, which made its way into my hands and which I've already colored from is Autumn Scenes. I've got myself a lot of autumn books. Right, let's, let's go. Right, let's start here. So there's all sorts of uh, different things in here. There's a lot of how, there's a lot of Thanksgiving stuff and there are several uh, Halloween type things as well. But mostly it's just like um, autumn on the farm, basically. And then the next one I got was Nightmare Grayscale. I had the line art edition of this and I messed it up royally. <laughs> like, really bad. I had a hard time coloring the pictures. But I decided to get the grayscale because I am actually actively collecting Jade Summer's grayscale. I have them all. And I wanted to get this because it would belong to my collection. But since then, I have colored a picture in here. And it went way easier than I ever expected. So, um... And now that when I look at the pictures, they don't seem that difficult. So really happy to have this in the collection. And then I was one of those who jumped on Jake Summer's Color by Number bandwagon. So here's the Mandala one, which I haven't worked in yet. And another pre-order was the Pop Manga Cute and Creepy, and I haven't done anything in here either. And this is just like her other books, except probably the best one, in my opinion, because it's the oddest, you know? I mean, it is called Cute and Creepy. And a lot of the stuff in her first, in her first two books is Cute and Creepy, but she did up a line she didn't go over, and she went over that line in this one, so... <laughs> That's great. Lots of grayscale in here and uh, just lots of pictures with uh, guiding sketch lines to help you help you color. So yeah, love that. Really happy with my books this month. And this was, I think this was the second coloring book cafe book I got, Autumn Life. And I've done a picture in this one already too. And uh, this one is more like all around the house and the yard and the neighborhood and the farm. They all seem to live on farms or out in the boonies, I guess you could say. So, yeah, that one. So I am set for autumn books, I'll tell you. Now I'm just going to take a sip. Now, remember when I told you my sister sent me a few things and 
I showed you those uh, odd, n not odd, but those random pencil crowns. Well, she did send me a few books that she found as well, or that were from her collection that she didn't want anymore. So, she got this one, Travel Around the World, Relaxing Coloring for Adults. And this is published by Vision Street. No illustrator. But it has all sorts of different pictures, but its main focus is for pictures of other cities. And, uh, yeah, this will be fun to color in. I won't be doing all the Zen doodly stuff. I've I've learned that you don't have to do all that, that you can color the, the whole piece. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Then the next one was a book that she didn't want, and this is Bennett Klein's first book, Color My Sketchbook, 25 Grayscale Sketches. So I've got four of his books, and this one makes the fifth. So. This was his first book, even though it says 25 here, because he's just saying 25 images. And the other books that go up, it starts with number 1, 2, well not 1, because this is technically 1, but it'll have a 2, 3, or 4, because that's the number of the volume. And she also had this one that she didn't want, and it's a brand new color count, Travel the World. So now I have two of these books. So that'll be fun. And then she found these next ones at the Dollarama dollar store again. And these are called, these are by Beaver Books, which is, it's a division of PAP. And they're, they're 2020 books. But uh, Beaver Books is based in Montreal. So these are color by number books, if you can believe it. And they're large. They're really big. They're like probably, well, where'd I put it? Here it is. I'd have it in easy reach. Yeah, they're 11 inch squares. So yeah, this one's called Silly Sloths. And it says 24 large format, super thick tear out pages. And that's exactly what they are. They are double-sided, though. So these are just adorable. All of them are totally adorable. Not sure what I'm going to use on them, though, because they're too big to use pencil, at least for me. Um, can't use alcohol markers because it'll bleed through. The paper is decent, so might be able to use super tips and then go over that any streakiness with pencil. Hmm. I'll be checking into that. So there's Silly Sloths, Koala Kingdom. I'll just show you a page. <laughs> and they're so cute. And Lovable Llamas. Aren't they adorable? So I've never seen these before in my life. Really pleased to add these to my Color by Number collection. And then I picked up Rita Berman's August book, but not August. I, I picked up her autumn book, My Autumn Walk. And uh, yeah, really pleased to have this. I adore her work. I'm gonna have to make sure I get some of something done in here before the autumn is over. Uh, now, the only book I need of hers, I have is the my winter walk i have i have both the sand the sand <laughs> i have both the land and sea and i have all the other seasons now except winter this was the book that started it all was coloring book cafe this came out and i went omg i need to have that and i took a look at the pictures and i was just like yes yes <laughs> yes I absolutely love animal village type stuff and so each page is a different animal family and I guess they all live in this animal town going about doing their things 
And the great thing about the uh, uh, the coloring book cafe books is they don't have duplicate pages. Way back at the beginning of the month, I got um, Prachi Dewan Sach Deva's uh, color by number mosaic book. Spooky Halloween. This is like her bug book where you color in the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, hexagons. Uh, not too long ago, um, Sach and Sach Deva sent me this. This is his Halloween color by number book. And then I picked up Color Questopia's Halloween book. Belba family sent me their newest at the time, uh, Ariana's Vintage Collection book. And then after, after uh, Animal Town came out, it was like boom, 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 boom. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it with the books that came out. And they're, they're only $4.99 Canadian, and that's just... I mean, we, we don't get stuff priced at that. $5.99 would be the lowest I've ever seen something. All right, so this one's Farm Life. And I just, I've been dying to get myself one of these farm, farm type books. And so this is just all sorts of settings on the farm with people doing farm things and, and resting. And, and it's got quite a few animals in it too, which um, I'll deal with. I don't color things realistically and I have no inclination to do so, so we'll just have to see what my animals end up looking like. And then the book that came out, out after that was Cute Monsters, and this book is adorable. I have uh, already done one in here, so I don't want to show it to you, but each page is just a monster with a very simple background and these are adorable they're every kind of monster you can imagine so yeah i had a ton of fun coloring the picture out of this one and this one has um thicker line art than most of the other books that they publish so there's uh, no need to worry about this book at all about the line art being too thin and that's it guys so i guess i probably got around the same amount of stuff as i always do because i always seem to make up pretty close to an hour so um i hope you enjoyed that i hope that uh perhaps you found out something that you didn't know or you're inspired by something or that you just simply enjoyed looking at uh, coloring supply porn <laughs> which is really what it is I love watching coloring coloring hauls because to me it's just like you know eye candy and uh, it's fun and it's fun to window shop and I guess that's what these are all about so um, in the meantime until next time thanks for watching bye